Okay, so this video is going to show you how to uh, export your screenplay if you're using Celtics into Gorilla. So there are some limitations in doing this. Celtics uh, does have export capabilities, but they are limited. Uh, in general, this is why we do recommend Final Draft or Movie Magic Screenwriter, as those are truly program screenplay programs written for the professional screenwriter and for the industry, as is Gorilla. So, um, but Celtics does have some good parts to it. And if you are using it, there are ways to import from uh, um, or export from Celtics into Gorilla. So I'm going to show you some of those. There are some limitations and there are some issues that you have to deal with. So the first thing to understand is that Celtics does not export to the final draft format, the FDX format, which is what Gorilla accepts. It does export to uh, a text file format. They say it's the fountain format, but it really isn't. Um, and Gorilla does accept a screenplay written in the fountain format. So this is another thing that uh, we're gonna go over is how to import a screenplay written in the fountain syntax. Now I'm gonna explain that real quick. Fountain is just a syntax uh, that has been created and it's anyone can use it. You can use it with Microsoft Word or any text-based editor. And if you um, write your screenplay in the fountain syntax, it can import into Gorilla. And some important note, things to know, if you go to the fountain.io uh, site and click on syntax, this is going to say how to format a screenplay using Fountain. So there, it's pretty uh, understandable, pretty uh, um, uh, common uh, to write scene headings with INT and EXT, and that's what you need to do in Fountain. Character names need to be in uppercase, dialogue comes right after character, etc. However, something that's very important is that Gorilla accepts the Fountain format in power user mode, which basically means if you scroll down and if you look at scene headings, um, this is just a scene heading, exterior bricks pool day. However, if you force a scene heading uh, to be a scene heading, you can start the line with a period. So for example, if you put a period in, in front of the E uh, and then it's period EXT dot bricks pool, that will force this line to be a slug line. Okay, so that is something to, uh, to note. Now, Gorilla, you don't have to do that for the fountain format because EXT and INT are very common. We already know that when we scan the screenplay, if you write EXT period, it's, an ex it's a slug line or INT, it's a slug line. Okay, however, when you come to, to characters, this is where the power user mode needs to, to uh, come in. So if I scroll down a bit here to, I'm gonna pass action, go to character, um, in power user mode, when you write your screenplay in Fountain, you need to put an at sign. And notice down here, there's an at sign in front of the name of the character. And then here's the dialogue in order for the syntax to be proper. And Gorilla needs this at sign in front of the character name to note that it is a character. Okay, remember, Fountain is really just a text-based uh, system that uh, adds, you're just adding these syntax, these codes that tell the program that's reading it what is what that line is. You don't need to do that with the FDX file format or, because that's XML. And in Final Draft, uh, it automatically knows that, okay, when it exports. But in Fountain, you do need to do that. So that's something that we're gonna have to uh, deal with with, uh, with the Celtic screenplay because Celtics, like I said, does not really export to the fountain format. It says it does, but it does not export to the power user uh, fountain format. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So let's pop on over to Celtics, okay? And this is a screenplay that I have here. Let me turn this off here uh, in Celtics. And uh, you can see it's formatted fairly nicely. You've got your slug line with EXT period, EXT period, and then of the set and then the time of day, which is very important. You need to watch some of our videos on how to format a screenplay. And then if we scroll down a bit, we're gonna notice that with the first dialogue or the first character is chubby. Now notice that um, there is an at sign. Now I put that here, okay? By default, if you type in the name and name of the character, it's not gonna be there. Here's the first character actually right here, Barney. 
there's an at sign. So when you're creating your screenplay in fa in uh, uh, Celtics, in order to export into the proper fountain format, you need to put an at sign in front of the name of the character. Okay, and you need to do that every time. Now, once you do that, however, once you um, you know type in the character name, you don't have to. It, it'll pop up, you know, in, in Celtics because so you just have to select it. But when you first initially create the character, it must have an at sign. Otherwise, the fountain format does not understand that this is a character. Okay, so notice here at sign. Now you don't need to do that uh, for the action. Okay, here's Barney as the character here. In fact, don't because if you do put an at sign here, then this whole line will come into Gorilla as a as a character, and you don't want to do that. So let's take that out. So again, at sign for Barney. Let's scroll down a bit more and get some more dialogue. Here we go. Amanda at sign Barney at sign. So this is oh here's one I missed. Check that out. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, and oh here's a couple more. So this is important that you do this when you format your screenplay in Celtics. Otherwise, the characters are not going to come in. All right, here's a few more that I didn't do. So let me just check do those real quick. Okay. And once you do this, you go. You do want to save, so make sure you save before you export. Otherwise, you're not going to necessarily export the one that you're uh, working on. And then when you're ready to export, you click on File, Export. Now, go ahead and select To Fountain, okay? And we're going to do that, and it's going to download a text file or a fountain file. You'll see it's dot .fountain. I've done this a few times because this is number, number six, as you can see. And if I go ahead and show in Finder, uh, here we go, number six. I've done this a few times to test it. So we're going to import this file into Gorilla. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pop on over to Gorilla, and I am going to create a new screenplay. I'm going to click on the Import Screenplay file, uh, button. Click on the Celtics, which is really Fountain. It says Celtics, but it's the Fountain format, just like it says Final Draft and write or do it, but it's the FDX format up here, and this is the .sex. These are the three formats that Gorilla accepts. So in this case, we're going to export to Fountain. Now, you don't need Celtics to export to Fountain. You can write, like I said, a screenplay in the Fountain format using Word, as long as you follow those power user syntax before the slug line, the character, and such, and the action. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on Celtics. I'm going to type um, Fountain Export. and click on import, and I'm gonna go ahead and find the uh, file in downloads, which is where it downloaded by default. It was number six, okay? And uh, you can't see the open button, so let me see if I can scroll this over, uh, over a bit. It doesn't seem to wanna to make, oh, here we go. Okay, so move that over. So you can see I now select the select button, and we're gonna go ahead and import this screenplay. Okay, so it did come in. It looks pretty nice, actually. Here are the scenes on the right-hand side. So if I go ahead and select the scene here, you could see the dial, the uh, the display of the screenplay did come in, which is nice. And also, if I select a scene where some characters are, this is the first scene with dialogue. Um, you could see that Barney. And if I just scroll down here a bit, we'll see Barney. Here we go into phone. Now this would not have come in had I not did the at sign. So let me go back to uh, into phone, which is the first scene right here. If I were not to do this, this character would not come in. So that's why this video is so important. If I click the cast members uh, category right here, you will see that here are the three characters, Barney, Amanda, and Chubby. And these are all characters that we had to add the at sign to to tell Celtics, or really to tell Fountain, really, because it exports into the Fountain format, that these are characters. And so if we go into Elements and select the character Barney and click on Info over here, 
and then select scenes, we will see these are all the scenes that were attached to Barney. These were all the scenes, scenes four, six, seven, eleven, 11, etc., that Barney had some dialogue. Okay, why? Because once again, we can go to scene 16 just to check it, right? We'll go back to Celtics and jump down to scene 16. And here we go, scene 16. Here's Barney, and so a man is in the scene too, but he has the at sign, and he's got to have this at sign here. Now, to be honest with you, he probably doesn't have to have it in every single one if you just have it once uh, here, but then you, you'll have two Barneys, and you really don't want to do that. So as long as you have the at sign in front of the character, that character will import as a character. Okay, now understand that we can also go ahead and add uh, information and characters here if they weren't uh, in, in Celtics, of course. So let's say, for example, if I go to scene two, now it doesn't, there's no characters here, but let's say in scene three, uh, for example, here, and we enter through open place to see a chubby man. Now notice that chubby man is chubby. That's who the character is, but he's not tagged here and he's not here. This is the most important here. If the character or the element is not in this box right here, that character or element is not scheduled for the scene. But you can see here that Chubby Man should be in this scene. Now, why is he not tagged? Well, he didn't have any dialogue. If I scroll down here, you can see there's no dialogue here for Chubby. And if I go to scene three in Celtics, um, same thing. There was no dialogue for Chubby here. You can see that. Well, that's fine. That makes, a, you know, there's no dialogue. But we can add him by going to cast members here, selecting, selecting Chubby, closing that, and now in Gorilla, we have now added Chubby as a uh, person or as a character into the scene. Now, if we do not, one last thing here, if we go to scene four, for example, and we do not say into phone, remember this is the into phone one, right? Or, I'm sorry, janitor, Barney janitor down here. If we do not tag, and I'll, you know what? I'll just get rid of it. Let's do that. Let's delete it. And um, I just removed Barney from the scene. If I uh, did not do that, and if I go back to Celtics to scene four, and if uh, I did not do an at sign here, uh, he wouldn't have come into the scene. You don't have to worry about it too much because you can go to the scene here, just like we did with Chubby, and add the character, as long as the character is here. If the character is not in the select element box, um, that means he, he or she wasn't tagged at all. And we could go down here, click the plus sign, and let's just add a new character here, okay? Now, by default, Sophia will be added to this scene. Uh, of course, Sophia is not in this uh, scene, but uh, regardless, uh, this is how you do that. Okay, and go ahead and look at these uh, uh, at the um, video for how to number how to number the IDs. These are called board IDs. Notice Sophia doesn't have an ID, but there's a whole video here on how to go to elements and how to number them. Okay, notice that Sophia doesn't have a number. Okay, so that's basically how you import from Celtics into Gorilla. And very important to know the fountain format, the syntax of the fountain format. And the only one you really need to, to uh, pay attention to, like I said, is that at sign in front of the character. The interior, exterior norm came in just fine. The action came in just fine. The uh, screenplay information came in pretty nicely, actually. So it's just that at sign that unfortunately Celtics does not export into the fountain format. Again, they used to do that. I remember they used to do that. That's why we did the fountain format for Celtics. But for some reason, they took it out. So another really quick thing, uh, just because um, I wanted to mention this, and that is, let's go ahead and uh, show you um, how to, one second here, I'm gonna go to a, a new window, go to downloads and go to that, um, Hotel Cucaracha right here. This is the one that we exported out of Celtics, right? If I were to open this in Word, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, a little tricky here, gotta hit all applications and find Word, let's see. Here we go, and open it. Now we'll give you this, you know, what is this? But anyway, if I click okay here and open it, notice that, and I'm gonna go down to the dialogue, of a character, 
Here we go. Here's Barney right there. Okay, and he's got the at sign. Same thing with the chubby, etc. So it is very possible that you can even go into Word and, and add the at sign as long as you do that here and then just save that as a text file. Okay, this is already uh, formatted sort of in the fountain format. Okay, so you can literally type your screenplay uh, in Word. Now, again, this is just uh, crap that comes in from Celtic, so it sort of it, Gorilla ignores this, which is nice, but we can get rid of it too. But notice here the dot, dot ext. This is the proper formatting, right? Remember the power user with the dot here, okay? So that's how you do it. So understand uh, that you can export a screenplay from Celtics. So you just have to do a little bit of work to get it in. And that's the end of the lesson. Thank you very much.